I told him I have an uncle who could have people killed. It came out at a point in the conversation where he was making it seem like I'd never seen anything in life. Nothing to speak of any sort of danger. He's right, you haven't any. So I lied to him. Why would you even say something like that? I don't know, Kenneth. What difference does it make? You tell Barry you have an uncle who kills people and now he's going to be scared to death of you. Don't cross Nora. She's protected. It's not as overt as you're describing. It's quite manipulative. Yes. I guess that it is. Just loves working on those damn cars. His father dies and he inherits an enormous will. Properties, real estate, but he just keeps pumping that money into the shop. Listen to me, this has been hard for everyone. It's a bit of an adjustment, I know, and it's, it's gonna take time. But hey, you have two mommies who love you very much and we will do whatever we can to make it easier for you. We just, we need you to open up to us, okay? <laughs> hey, you Tiger. It's been a moment since you've popped up on my phone. I've missed you. I've been around. I'm just busy. Busy? Too busy for your little Minxie. I had a lot going on. Well, that's the perfect time to give Minxie a call. Luckily for you, I got a lot of ways to help you relax. You need to talk to the president. What I need are two chocolate eclairs. I've got celery sticks and an apple. Peanut butter? Hummus. You know when you were a little girl, you used to help me steal two slices of apple pie from Charlene? When I was a little girl, your health didn't determine the sanity of the man of the free world. Derek, I need you to talk to the president. Maybe. But do you know what I do, guys? I got your balls in my hand, and I'm gonna squeeze until they pop. So either you talk, or Thompson talks, or you and I walk down to the docks and we tell Levens about his little rat infestation that he's got going on. 